Miguelito driving drunk, Maryland residents can't watch a movie in peace, Raz B plays too much, and Amber and Wiz twerk down the aisle. Hey everybody, welcome back as Coco Fab and I bring you this week's Let Leslie Tell It. Last week, I was left in stitches when I found out that the pocket R&B guy, Miguel, had been pulled over and given a DUI. He and I are about the same size, yet I find it hard to believe he can handle any more than a fuzzy naval wine cooler. Lil Miggles got caught slipping leaving the club. I don't get why celebrities drive around drunk. Get a driver. You have money. Even broke folks do that, fool. He don't have to worry about finding out how many drinks it takes to get the hose home. He'll be too busy stumbling the valet trying to make it there himself. Jumping on the necks of fans and now driving under the influence of probably Mike's Hard Lemonade. Stick to the club soda, boo. The police in L.A. were arresting singers while the Popo in Maryland were protecting innocent moviegoers from themselves. One patron says that while she and others went to see the butler, that they had to go through the equivalent of airport security just to get into the theater. Regal states they like to utilize the services of officers anytime there's a sold out show. But I call bull, cause it wasn't Nan officer around when I went to see the sold out show of Monsters University. Hell, we could have used some police. Kids are crazy. I had to protect my seats like it was water in a dry desert from some crumb snatchers. No, Marilyn, we just caught you in your racist ways. You didn't think people could go see a movie about civil rights and comeuppance and there wouldn't be a riot. Yeah. Thanks for letting us know there's a black president, but we still can't handle going out in public and acting civil. How classy. Classless was the style for the week, but Maryland doesn't even take the cake. Former boy band member Raz B does. Old Demario decided he had had enough of no man's land. He was making a comeback by faking a coma. Um, you have to, certain, have, to have a certain amount of clout, you know, to fake your own death. And you, Mr. Sweetness, don't have it. But supposedly, the singer's publicist was behind spreading the vicious lie about his bar fight bottled to the dome-induced comatose state. We weren't the only ones fooled, though. His brother, the owner of a stupid moniker as well, Ricky Romance, was fooled, too. Unlike the other members of the defunct B2K, this has-been couldn't just go away silently. Instead, he keeps coming back like a virus. Chris Stokes got to get this boy a job or something. He pimped them out long enough. He got to have some connects. And if he doesn't, it's always room for him at the right track to get his dance on. Razzle, get your ass up and get a life. Anyway, y'all remember when Wiz and Amber got married in the courthouse last month? Well, they done had a ceremony. And it was fit with a twerk video and a red velvet jacket. Just the foolishness I was hoping for. Congrats to the couple. My congratulations also go out to Monica and Shannon Brown, who will be expecting their baby girl next month. I love to see these entertainment folks doing well, in love, happy. It makes a brown girl smile. Just like Jet Jackson used to do. My condolences go out to Lee Thompson Young's family as we lost him tragically to a suicide this week. May he rest in peace. That's all I have for y'all this time. Don't forget to subscribe to the show. Follow me on Twitter so you can catch me each and every Friday or whenever at the handle Hot Mommy. And don't forget to check out CocoFab.com for all your latest entertainment news. Until next week, peace out.